Should I just fill it in with cobble? Uh, the creeper hole? Yeah. Uh, cobble, I don't mind being under it, but I'd like to at least try to make it look decent. Okay. So, cover the top with uh, dirt. Even if I have to d extract the dirt from the countryside. Uh, there's plenty of dirt uh, in the storage room. Yeah, well, I'm extracting it from the countryside in a way that... As long as it's not readily apparent. Well, it won't be when the, when the grass finish re, finishes regrowing, so... Fair enough. Oh, that. Yeah, someone just noticed how I dealt with the dirt layer. And it was cool. Ah. Uh. Um. What? Uh, that could have been a lot worse. Where'd you fall? The volcano. <laughs> the upside is, we know, I know for sure it's connected now. <laughs> at least tell me you were at least on creative when you did that, Wonder. I was at least on creative when I landed in the lava. Damn drill, damn it, Richard G. Oh, zombies. Richard G and his army of zombies. Something like that, where... <laughs> it's like... It's like, oh crap, and then creative mode. Where... Should I be worried that you actually have enough of a twitch reaction to hit creative mode when something goes wrong? I don't know. There's an Enderman here. Yeah, Dyer isn't on, so they need someone in stock. Uh, one-shotted with the Athame. Now, why is there a pig in the castle? Probably because the dirt haven't removed, but still. Hmm, probably. Hmm. Uh, what Y level is the uh, pump at? Like 10 range. You're on the surface, are you? Yeah. Hey, Zombles. Each floor is about seven blocks lower than the last. It's gonna be a lot of floors. It's a good thing we stockpiled smooth stone. Yep. 
I'm going to worry first of all about getting the stairs down uh, to the right uh, level and then figure out what I'm going to do from there. This is going to take me a few days. Real or Minecraft? Definitely Minecraft. Say, it took us, it took me a couple real days to get just the uh, floors that we already have in. But we just weren't quite as advanced back then. So that's just three fours. <laughs> um, someone just did a scorecard for me versus Enderman. It's a little off. Because mm. he's got only saying that I've got one on the Enderman. I'm sorry, I broke in the Athame with a one ki with a one shot kill. I hear you, spider. I think there's going to be four or five floors ad added to this castle just to dig it down far enough to actually uh, be in the right spot. Hmm. I've already added one, so that I'm not even counting that one. Oh, that's how. Okay. Did you kill the pig? Yeah. Okay. We haven't made the doors yet. To which doors do you refer? He's ask people are asking why we haven't made doors made the outer doors for the castle. Wooden doors are a bad idea since the zombies can break through them. Uh Iron doors are more or less inconvenient for the most part because you have to hit a switch and they are indirectly a security hazard of their own. Because what happens if you get stuck uh, outside after they close? You'd have to have a way to open them. And having a toggle switch is generally a pain in the neck. Conversely, the most likely thing we're going to end up doing is using... Uh, uh, wooden gates, like fence gates. While that requires us to have uh, a, uh, at least four for a double door uh, to have proper security and block skeleton arrows, it is the safest solution. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, obsidian pressure plates are actually triggered by villagers as well, believe it or not. Someone's offering that as an option. Uh, 
I'm reluctant to, at best, to rely on a mod to offer the, uh, the solution for an entrance or exit to uh, any building I make for the simple fact that, well, what happens if the mod doesn't update and you're forced to update everything else? Yeah. Using fence gates as our doors is basically the most consistent option. Piston doors are, although doable very easily, they are problematic in that they are big. They take a lot. They take up a lot of space. One thing you'll uh, note about us is when we're building, we do tend to combine practicality, aesthetics, and just general uh, functionality. All three have to work together. It has to work. It has to look good, and it has to be efficient. We're willing to give a little on one to get a little on the other, but we're not going to bend it over backwards just to get one little thing done that we don't need. We've been like this since before mods were popular. I don't think we're going to change that aspect of us anytime soon. Yeah, we're still saying they're still saying obsidian pressure plate. Now we're going to we're going to stick with fence gates because as as annoying as they are to open and close, but manually they work. Zombies don't knock on them, and they can still block skeleton arrows. Have you ever actually tried obsidian pressure plates on double doors? No, I have not. I bet they work just like the regular pressure plates, if you catch the drift. Okay, which means that it would rec basically require red power to correct the touchiness. That's a creeper. That's either that was a, lightning. That was a lightning strike? Yes. Where, where'd you detect it? I was in the storage room when it went off. I was all the way down uh, at Y37. At least. Oh, shit. Upstairs, come on, we gotta investigate the uh, surface. Come it... on, hearing three right now. Okay, let's see. I don't see damage. That's good to know. If it was a direct hit on the castle, it didn't notice. And I hear a trespasser. Yeah, I saw him. Okay, wait before you kill him. Where is that? 
the soul shard. There it is. Okay, where is that bugger? I heard him around here somewhere. It's like... Oh, I hear him. Downstairs, I think. I hear... I hear two. Oh. Locked onto you. Where is he? He wouldn't have gone all the way down here, would he? No. Upstairs. You found him? Yep. Main floor? Right there. Go. Did that trigger the yeah. salt? Yes, it is. And that counted as four kills. Ha! Did you have Soul Stealer 3 on there? Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm going to put this in the Ender chest. <laughs> Yes, I know the humor in that. Yes. But if you detect any more Endermen, you know where to go. Yep. They actually made the Endermen sc sound scary. Uh, Fire Blast, I have been streaming for over eight hours at this point. Because the current... The current session length is 8 hours, 17 minutes, and I had like 4 hours before that. Might as well unload here. Yep. Popcorn! We're definitely going to have to set an auto sort somewhere when we do the uh, the transition. Yep. Okay, I was actually at Y35 at the time when I heard that lightning. When I heard that lightning strike. When you heard the explodey one? Yeah. You are here. Damn. So I have to get down 25 more levels approximately to be, to be able to do a loop line that's flat it'll probably have to vary a little bit because I doubt we'll get exactly since the cut is every seven hmm So, uh, what do you think of that red ring? Do you think that uh, looks okay? Yep. I don't know if black is going to look good. The only time I tested black was with a basalt uh, uh, stone. It didn't look good, but it didn't look bad either. Because I felt it mixed too harshly with the basalt. Mm. It was just too close, but I think when using a wood, it should contrast better. It's the white with uh, the regular stone rings that I'm concerned with. Mm. And there goes your sound again. Do you have your desk lamp on? Yeah, but that's on a different circuit doesn't matter. 
And oh crap. Oh boy. Okay, uh. turn it off. I just saw the particle effect from an Enderman. Sorry, you just saw what? Particle effect from an Enderman. Uh. Sorry, just when the lightning goes, uh, it drowns you out. Ah. I'm going to turn out, turn down my Minecraft sounds. Okay, not there. Spiders do not like our walls. No, they don't. My response to them is, tough! No, the cell well, the phone... The best things ever developed is those anti-spider uh, defenses. Yeah. Uh, cell phone interference sounds a lot more distinctive than that, actually, Eam Theory. And I've actually heard it, and no, it's not. Besides, my cell phone is off. I perpetually keep it off, much to everybody's annoyance. And uh, dark black, my answer to that is butter, butter, and more butter. Uh, uh, biotoxic, we're both using USB headsets. His is the only one giving him grief. I don't think it's the USB headset itself. I think there's something else going on. Thump, 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 thump. Love that. Why? The, the sounds the spiders make when they hit the ground. Because it's just tall enough that is causing them fall damage. That is partially by design, you know. It is thoroughly amusing. I, uh, I haven't tested Are they actually able to climb on that tempered glass? I don't know if they are. Because I know regular glasses may as well be ice. They can't, uh, they can't climb regular glass at all. Yeah. It's like spider noise. Thought. And uh, guys, I banned Wiki Kiki just because it was obvious that he read the rules and was trying to break as many of them as possible. Unfortunately, there was a, a 30 second delay on the ban. But, oh well. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, the guy... The audience is amused by the spiders trying to climb the walls. <laughs> Spider noises. Thud. I don't blame them for being amused. I'm amused. There's bound to be someone out there amused. There's bound to be somebody out there who finds it infinitely annoying and not funny. And you know what? They can go watch someone else's stream. True. Because I have, not, I have not chained them down to their chair and, and taped their eyeballs open to try to 
make them watch mine. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Like robot chicken. Hmm. Uh, Magiju says, "What you have is a unique string and spider eye generator. Why not be amused?" Well, I am actually amused. It's it may not be completely unique, but it is definitely creative. And who isn't amused? What player isn't amused by hostile mobs suiciding themselves on walls? Stop hurting yourself! Stop hurting yourself! Stop hurting yourself! Stop punching yourself! Thwack! And ghasts? Yeah, I... I have fun with ghasts. I actually literally do have fun with ghasts. I, the render distance on my computer was set to, I think, 100 blocks. I was taking ghasts out at 105. It wasn't even ghast pong. I was just sniping them. What you looking for? Uh, just sorting uh, stuff here. Okay. Uh, putting some stuff in the storage. Uh, sending some stuff to the uh, bin. Yep. I had no problem getting out this window previously. What the heck? <laughs> oh, Siri. So oh, okay, I know what's going on. Yeah, I know. I was going out to the crafting table before, which is a full block instead of the partial block uh, chests. Yep. Oh, well. Oh well. Yeah, it was funny. But yeah, the guys are right. They actually did make the Enderman sound scary. Like, genuinely scary. Uh, later, oh. Kevin. Got uh, Kevin Jansen going to bed. Huh. Yeah, fun fact, I'm going to be uploading this stream to YouTube in 30 minute segments and it's going to last me daily from the 2nd probably from the 2nd of January probably to the 18th at this rate. Yeah, uh, the biggest complaint about Minecraft sounds right now, Kaize, is the volume, is just how distorted the volume range is. I mean, I don't have to go beyond rain to explain that. It's only almost 3 a.m., they say. Yeah. It's only the crack of oh my god in the morning. It's not that late. Back to base.